In this video, I'll go over how to apply sort lists in LibreOffice Calc and how to manage it. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. In Calc, there's something called sort lists and it allows us to type one piece of information into a cell and then drag it to fill a consecutive list of items. I'll go over a brief example. Here I'll type in the month of March. And I go back to the cell. I'll click and drag this bottom right corner of the cell when the mouse cursor changes to this fill icon. Then when I drag down, you can see that the tooltip changes. Right now it's showing October, and it'll go to November, and so on and so forth. So after I release it, Calc automatically fills in items within the list for me. I'll now get into how this is done in just a minute. Another way that we can drag and fill is to go towards the right. And actually, it'll work in just almost any direction you want. It'll work going upwards. And it'll actually work as well if you want to drag it leftwards. Now, of course, each direction has its own use for different cases, but I'm just doing it here to demonstrate because I like to have a little bit of fun. Now, I'll demonstrate what if I type in a word such as umbrella and there is no list or sequence that go along with it. In that case, it simply duplicates the value. So if you ever wanted to duplicate the same value over and over, this is one way to do it. Now what if I type in a month and I actually don't want it to apply a sort list? Then I can click and drag and you notice the tooltip right now shows July. I can hold down the control key and then release the mouse. And now instead of applying the sort list, it duplicates the value for me. So again, the key to prevent it from applying the sort list is to hold down the control key before releasing your mouse. Now let's get into how to manage the sort lists. The lists will be available to be viewed under Tools, Options, and under LibreOffice Calc, we can expand the options here we'll click on sort lists. So these are the list of lists that I have. Yours may look a little different than this or it could be populated with a lot of repeating lists but that's okay. When I had typed a month to apply my sort list it was using this one and all the entries within it. Now I'll show you how to add my own list. Here I can click on the new button and then I can start typing in my entries. It doesn't really matter which item I start with. So here I'll just do the four seasons. I'll start with autumn, which is my favorite season of the year. The important part is to follow a strict sequence. So obviously winter follows autumn. Then we'll have spring and summer. It wouldn't make sense if I mixed up the order and say have summer appear before spring. Now I'll just click add. And under the lists, we see the entries that I've created. Then make sure to hit OK. And now I can try out my new sort list. I'll start with winter. Then click and drag. And voila, now we see it's using my sort list. Now if I wanted to delete or modify my sort list, I can just go right back into the dialog and I can either delete it completely and then add a new list and then hit OK to make my changes. So sort lists are pretty cool, right? Let me know if you have any questions or what other sort lists that you think would be useful in your spreadsheeting adventures. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay nifty.